Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about today is Unimus, which is a network management piece of software that probably has some of the most comprehensive device support that I've ever seen. And what the NMS software, network management software, is going to allow you to do is to do backups of your devices. It's going to allow you to monitor them. It's going to allow you to make configuration changes. I also want to know, are any of you already running this or what are you running? The thing that I really like about this software is it's kind of vendor agnostic and you can manage and monitor tons of different manufacturers. So we're going to look at it in this video and in the, the follow-up video, I'm actually going to install this, show you how to install it, show you how to put your first few devices in. You can get five devices for free. This is not a totally free product. I don't know of anything that's totally free that is expansive and as complete as this. So let's take a look. So the website is unimus.net. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I was poking around. I've seen this. I've seen people talk about this a little bit in some of the groups that I'm in. And it really got me interested in the software. So I'll leave a link to this down below. But the first thing you see here is network automation, configuration backup, change management. And if we go to, there's a features, explore features. Oh, real quick back here, see vendor agnostic. And we're going to get to that here in just a minute. It is modern and secure. It is web-based. You can run it on Windows, Linux, Unix. It says that they even support ARM. So you can run it on maybe a Raspberry Pi. Maybe we'll try that. It says it's fast to use, easy to deploy. They have a wiki here that's going to show us a lot of things. Before we get to the supported vendors, let's go back to the the, the features real quick. So we've got network a uh, automation so we can mass configuration push pull from your devices, disaster recovery, configuration backup, and network, blah, blah. network disaster recovery, change management. So if configurations are being changed on devices, it can recognize that and it can let you know that and also helps you perform audits of your devices. Right here, network wide configuration search for easy compliance validation distributed and multi-tenant so you can have multiple companies multiple tenants inside the same software the other thing is you don't have to have this completely centralized you can actually put a smaller server out at remote sites have everything talk to that and then it comes back to the core it's on-prem obviously uses encryption has triple a support notifications if we look at this network automation and show more they've got a video that shows us how to do that the wiki is pretty complete it's got good documentation about how to get started how to deploy to your devices we're gonna do an install on Ubuntu server when we do our install Two of the most interesting things in the wiki besides getting started First of all, they have a public roadmap. It was updated May 13th, and this shows you the features that are coming or in design, in development. If there's nothing next to it, it's kind of there. Hasn't, hasn't made much movement yet. If it, a feature has been released, it will say released here. You can see some of the latest things that they released are improvements for the database upgrade process. We've got this coming. It's in development. Save searches for config search. So the ability to save config search presets, schedule them. We've got a feature that's in design here. Actions on result of config search. So tag devices, set devices as targets for config push, etc. Let's see. Compliance reporting is in development. Advanced device information collection during discovery. So serial number, firmware version, automatic description from host name or identity is in development. 
new config push macros and syntax extensions. And we're going to get into a lot of this when we do the, the deployment, talking about some of these things. But you can see that that's in development. What else is in design right now? Notification system rework. So they looks like they are changing some of the notification system ability for multiple notification senders, multiple de destinations, better configurability. So it looks like they're working on some of that UI change, but then some of the things under the hood to make notifications even more powerful than what they are. You can see they've got a lot of stuff on the list that doesn't have a status yet. Some global search things. HTTP and HTTPS connections, support for IP phones and IP cameras. So those types of devices look like they're coming. Support for new importers. So network management sync. Looks like there's going to be some sort of integration with Sonar, Nagios, and ConnectWise. So... Rolling back through, you can see that they just keep adding to the software. And I love when a company puts an actual software roadmap out and it's available and they listen to their customers. So that was a really big win for me when I saw that. But here is even a bigger win. So when we look at the supported vendors and devices, and this was just updated, this list is huge. Whether you're running... 3Com, Adtran, Brocade, Cambium, Cisco. You can see a lot of the Cisco stuff in there. Checkpoint, D-Link, Dell. The list goes on and on. And this even has, look, Fiberstore, Fortinet. You can even manage free NAS with this. Grandstream, right here. HP, the list goes on and on. Uh, Microtech is in here. OpenWRT, OpenSense, Palo Alto Firewalls, PFSense, PFSense Plus, Planet, Ruckus, SonicWall, Sophos, all the ubiquity stuff, TrueNAS, Viata, ViOS. This software supports so many different vendors. I mean, this list is huge. You can take a look at this. I'll leave a link directly to the supported vendors. But unless you have, well, I guess let me go back. If you are an, uh, an MSP or you're a consulting company and you're managing a lot of different customers, they may not all be on the same platform. Even in a corporate environment, you may not be on the same platform depending on what the goal is of the network seg segment or the network that was set up. So a lot of like, just as an example, audio-based networks. Netgear really has awesome configuration for running audio over your network. So a lot of times you'll see Netgear switches in audio networks. There are other vendors that are making inroads into that. But from what we've seen, Netgear is still a huge player there. So it makes sense to use Netgear for that. And if I've got Netgear and I've got Grandstream and I've got Ubiquity in the same company, this one piece of software is going to be able to monitor and manage those devices from one platform. So when we start talking about kind of single pane of glass for some of these things, it can be you know either full network management or multi vendor management and that's where Unimus comes in. I'll leave a link to this. Let me know what you think about this. We're going to deploy this in the next video. We're going to adopt. So you get five licenses for free. I'm going to work with them, see if I can get a few more devices for a little, you know, an extended period. This, like I said, this is not a free software. Let's talk about that real quick. If you are going to, um, if you are going to have five devices, you do get those five devices for free. If you're in the U.S. or the European Union or anywhere else, there is pricing for more than five devices. And if you're managing this gear for a corporation or for other customers, 
it makes sense to pay for something that's in active development that you can get support for. So the SMB license is $5.90 per device per year for up to 1,000 devices. If you hit that 1,000 devices or more, there's probably a couple things you could do. You could upgrade to the enterprise license. They do have an extended support option for the SMB, which gives you 8x5 phone support for an additional $2 a device per year. And then under Enterprise, you can get 24-7 phone support for $5,400 a year. Now, if you've got a couple thousand devices, this $8,500 a year for unlimited devices, probably looking good. It comes standard with the 8x5 phone and email support. SMB by default only comes with the email support. But we're going to get at least five devices in and we'll see if they will extend a license for more. I definitely have at least 15 different manufacturer switches and some of them are on that, that list. So when we set this up, we're going to get a pretty good idea of what it can and can't do. So what are you using for multi-vendor network management? Are you already using Unimus? Are you using something else? Let me know down in the comments. I'll leave links to this. And then as soon as I get some time here in the next couple days, this video will get pushed because I've been looking for something like this. And so I have to get it rolled out so that I can test it. But are you using it? What are you using? Have you used it? Have you moved away? Let me know all of the details down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, whether it's for your network, voice over IP, or your storage, custom programming, all of those things, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to the community at community.willyhow.com and talk about your network management devices or your servers, your tools, what you're using, or leave those comments down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.